I think especially all through missions because there are times you see not just nationals but missionaries who fall into sin and it's a delicate subject but we need to walk in holiness and be sanctified before the Lord. If someone challenges us on something we have to take it before the Lord, not react, but learn to walk in holiness. It's holiness, the sanctification process is always a battle for everyone, every Christian in the world. Uh, and I know that if people in leadership and people in ministry are not holy, that the work is held up. So I don't believe that Christianity is conversion followed by lots of self flagellation and beating yourself because you're never holy enough, we never are. We look to Christ for His holiness and appropriate His sanctification. But I know there's no shortcuts to holiness and God wants us to walk in a holy path for His service and I think the work will be blessed and go on further through the holiness of His people. But also your thoughts, what you read, what we watch on the internet, on the TV, what our thoughts that they're that if there's a bad thought, Lord, please take it away, take it away. So that my whole inside is, is right before the Lord every day. And then I can live, that's a holy life. That's so important. The church that God wants to build is a holy church. And to do that, he needs holy people. People who are willing to deal with any habits in their lives, surrender them to Jesus, uh, people who are willing to walk God's way, do His work, His way, and, and uh, trust Him. Uh, this, this is really important. Holiness, uh, purity of life goes through with our testimony. We've got to be people who live holy as unto the Lord. and maintain that Christian testimony because after all it's not so much what we say but how we live that speaks most to people.